Happy Tuesday morning, St. Joe's. We're cooking right along in this third week of distance learning. It's Holy Week, which means we got a short one on hand. Let's go ahead and begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Healing God, stretch out your hand and heal us. Shine your light on the darkness of accusations and pessimism. We crave the goodness of your light. We desire freedom from distractions and sin. Just as you brought Lazarus back to life, may your word bring us new life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me shrink myself real quick. Let's be upstanding now. Place our right hands over our hearts. Please join me in saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. News and notes from the front office. We got quarter three report cards coming out. That'll be tomorrow. Parents, keep your eyes peeled on your inboxes. Quarter three report cards will come home through our email system from the front office. No birthdays to report, being that it is Tuesday, though. We've got some tech tips from Mrs. Reardon. Looks as though we're on the hunt for some photos for the yearbook. So eighth graders, we can get you involved with that. That would be most helpful. Any kind of photos, send those over to Mrs. Reardon at the email address on the screen. It's Tuesday, so we got another stat of the day. My good buddy Ron Burgundy. Stat of the day, stat of the day. Da, ba, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? Stat of the day. All right, parents and students, place your wagers. We got a stat. I will read you the answer tomorrow. No need to send me what your guess is. This is simple wagering between parents and students. This percent of people admit to cheating on a quiz or a test. That's admit to. Cheating on a quiz or a test. Hopefully none of the seventh graders have got a big test today in science. All right, as we round things out, this picture of Tim from over the weekend, that's a big old rainbow on the Clark Fork. I don't want to give away any secret spots, but that looks like it's right through town. Good job, Tim. If anybody has anything they'd like shared on the morning announcements, send them my way. M. Crockett at mcsmt.org. Have a happy Tuesday.